Day two of one of the biggest events of the year in San Diego. Comic Con continues to take over the convention center and downtown in general. This year, some people are noticing one glaring difference compared to years past. News 8's Shannon Handy is live at the event with what it is. Shannon. Hey, Carlo and Barbara Lee. It's definitely more crowded here today than it was yesterday, which is no surprise. It's Friday, of course, and people are getting their weekend started off right. We are outside the convention center in the heart of it all. You can see just how many people are down here. Now, despite all the people here for Comic-Con, something people have been talking about, there seems to be fewer costumes compared to years past. When it comes to Comic-Con, there's no shortage of things to do and see. But for many people here, it's all about the costumes. Tell me about your costume. The composite Superman. It's a pretty obscure character. I've never seen it before. From elaborate homemade ones to others picked out in a store, people go all out. I wanted to go big and kind of do it up big for SDCC. Comic-Con is the largest convention of its kind in the world, with more than 130,000 attendees expected this year alone. But despite the massive crowds, some say there's a trend they're beginning to notice. Fewer people are dressing up. Seems like definitely less, yeah. I don't know why, but it seems like that. We wanted to know why. Some tell us it's just not their thing. I don't usually dress up. Too shy to do it. For others, it has to do with choosing comfort over cosplay. Especially with like an area like this where it's just going to be like very crowded and you're just going to be like sweating and uh, just pretty much like not be that comfortable. Another reason people gave, they just don't have the time. Certain costumes can take weeks to create. Our own Jeff Zevely spoke with Belle Benson, who's done it all. Yeoman Rand, Catwoman is a league of their own. I've done a Rococo Jean Grey who's Phoenix from X-Men. Whatever your style, the whole point of Comic-Con is to have fun. And if you want to dress up but aren't sure how, do what I did and keep it simple. 20 weeks. Me too! Really? Yeah! I'm super mom, you get it? Oh yeah. <laughs> I love it. You're missing out on the experience if you're not dressing up. And this super mom is feeling super safe because I found these nice gentlemen here standing next to me. They are some of the few here in costume. Now, I'm told by Comic-Con goers that Saturday is the day that most people dress up. So come on down here and you can still check out all the costumes. Again, Comic-Con runs through Sunday. Back to you guys. All right, thanks, Shannon. Those were some good costumes. There were a lot of good ones, and you appreciate the work that goes into them when you see them up close. Didn't you have a costume there one year? Yeah, but I didn't make it. I Star rented Wars? I, I, that was, you know, I didn't put the effort that these people are putting Did in. Did you keep it? No, I had to send it back. Oh.